What is the best bottle of bourbon from your home state? According to an article I found, Detling is the best bourbon made in Alabama. So let's do a bourbon review of Detling Small Batch Bourbon. My name is TJ Gamble and this is Bruzel, which is just an elaborate attempt to make my bourbon selection a tax deduction. How is it a write-off? They just write it off. If you're into having fun with your bourbon and you don't take things too seriously and you want to help me reach my tax goals, then consider subscribing, hit that like button for me, that would help me out a whole bunch and let's get into it. I've had a bottle of Detling before, but I ended up making a bourbon glaze out of it for some baby back ribs that I put on the big green egg. If that gives you any idea of what I actually thought of it. Now it made a great glaze, but it just wasn't an excellent pour. But that has been many, many moons ago. Maybe this has got better. Maybe I've got worse. Who knows? So let's pop this open and give it a try. But we've had a lot of people ask about, oh, do you only drink your whiskey neat? And to make this a little more about the people, because not everybody's sipping it neat in a Glencairn, we're gonna do this a little differently today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try it neat in a Glencairn. We're gonna try it with a little bit of distilled water. We're gonna try it over ice. And finally, we're gonna mix it with Pepsi. And if you like these types of reviews, this is how we're gonna do them from here on out. So let's get started. First of all, we're gonna pour this guy neat, if I can get it open. Looks like it's got a little, a little tab there to get it open, but then the tab is completely covered in wax. Great. I'm gonna have to hire somebody just to come open crap. Sticky. Like it's just, listen to that cork pop. Not bad, not bad. We're gonna measure all this out to make it nice and even. So we're gonna put an ounce pour here. We are going to do an ounce pour here. We've got some distilled water here on it. It's got a little baby's ass on it, so you know it's nice and clean. Don't know why they put a baby on it. We might've got it in the baby section, who knows? Apparently eyedroppers are really hard to come by these days, or you know, just little water droppers. I couldn't find one. So we had to get creative and we're just gonna use, make the best of a bad situation here. And we're gonna try to see if we can get this brush out of here and use perfectly fine turkey baster. So now that we've got an ounce in there, we are going to try to put a quarter of an ounce of water. I can't, like that, that, no. Okay, this is a terrible idea. Just, just a drop. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna put a couple of drops of water. Maybe one drop with this thing. One, two, okay, there you go. Not a quarter of an ounce, a couple of drops. A quarter of an ounce was way too much. No! Is this a thing now? Is this a thing we do on every video? We have to spill something on every video? Is that what we're doing here? If what I remember of this Detlin is true, this is not a big loss, but let me clean this up and I'll be right back. I promise you, I do not intend on spilling something in every single video, but as soon as we get the patron, we got the patron, Patreon, we got the Patreon set up. As soon as that gets high enough, I may have to hire a bartender. I don't know, maybe cheaper than me just spilling all of my drinks. But let's, we've got a fresh Glen Cairn. That was my least favorite Glen Cairn we broke anyway. Don't know, just didn't like it. It's such a Karen. <laughs> so funny, girl. So we've got our one ounce pour and then our one ounce with a couple of based, uh, turkey base of water. All I have is square ice, so we're gonna have to use this guy to try to make uh, round ice. Hopefully she works. So while she's doing that, we are going to have a one ounce pour here and we're gonna mix it 50-50. I don't know what ratio y'all mix yours at, but we're just gonna do 50-50. Usually I start off with a pretty light ratio and by the end of the day, we have a 50-50 mix. It gets, it's not a big enough block of aluminum, so it works really slow and sometimes it just doesn't make it all the way down and you end up with like an ice Saturn instead of an ice ball. Looks like it's still moving. We'll give it a second. I think that's it. All right, so we're going to do this guy here. Drop that ice ball in there and give us a one ounce pour with ice. So we're gonna score this 
one through a hundred with one being it's terrible it sucks i will never drink this again ever i may have to go to the hospital and a hundred being the perfect thing we've ever had in our entire life so let's start like we normally do neat in a glen can all right so definitely it's got kind of a dustiness an oakiness i get a lot of kind of leather tobacco flavor on it on the at least aroma And it delivers on that. Definitely better than I remember. It's got like this weird kind of dark chocolate aftertaste to it. So you get that dustiness and a light leathery tobacco and just this weird dark chocolate bitterness on the finish. So again, not bad, but if I were given this uh, score of, so it's 50 just kind of average this is not exceptional to me. This is not to my flavor profile. It's a little thin, it's a little bland. I would probably put this, not bad. So 50 being it's drinkable um, and up, I would probably put this in the high 50s. I'll give this like a 57, 58. It's definitely drinkable. And if you prefer those kind of tobacco-y leather flavors, this might be a nice easy sipper for you. So this is 80 proof. 80 proof, and um, they come in at about 40 bucks MSRP on those. All right, so let's try it now with a couple of drops of water. Very similar nose. It's already a really light, thin bourbon. Okay, so that, that brings that kind of bitterness forward a little bit. Really changes it a little bit as to how it hits your palate. Doesn't make it better. Oh, let's try it over ice now. Really sharp. It's like drinking hairspray. Uh, that's, it's not good over ice. You get some of that tea, but like it just brings this whole sharpness to the forefront. So how does it do with Pepsi? With Pepsi, that's a, it's worse. So it's like a 57 or so here, probably similar there. Here, it's like borderline undrinkable for me. That's like a, we'll call it a 51 with Pepsi. That's probably a 51 as well. So I'm not making any fans at Detling. I apologize, I'm sorry, but this is just not to my flavor profile. Enough about me. Apparently Alabama doesn't really have it going on when it comes to bourbon. What's the best bottle from your state? Let me know in the comments. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Here's another video you might enjoy, and I appreciate you watching.